It scares scientists all over the world. The Egyptian pyramids are the most famous ancient monuments in the world. Some of the most visited tourist attractions remain shrouded in mystery for many generations. How is this possible? The science that studies the past from finds will allow us to dispel the fog of uncertainty of these mysteries. You are on the Curd Up channel. Subscribe so you don't miss out. Temperature What is obvious to one is far from obvious to others. Knowing this wisdom, archaeologists and scientists made a joint study of the pyramids. Scientists have discovered an unusual thermal anomaly in one famous building, the Great Pyramid of Cheops. Imagine, in the pyramid they found a place of several stone blocks that were hotter by as much as 6 degrees than the rest. This amazing discovery was made by scanning the pyramid with the latest technological advances, including infrared thermography, muon radiography, and 3D reconstruction. Such temperature differences may indicate the presence of cavities or different materials inside the pyramid. It was previously believed that all the stones in the lower row of the Cheops pyramid are the same. However, thermal anomalies were also found in the upper half of the tomb. According to scientists, most likely, there are empty areas inside the pyramid. Experts are now looking for them. Perhaps there are new discoveries awaiting for them. But what exactly is hiding behind this thermal anomaly in the pyramid of Cheops? Ups. Egyptian tools In Egypt, traces of sewing stones were found that were discovered more than a hundred years ago. It was the legendary pyramid explorer Sir William Flinders Petrie. He noticed these traces even on the sarcophagus in the Great Pyramid on the Giza Plateau. He suggested that the sarcophagus was carved from granite using huge cells 3 meters long. Cell marks can also be found throughout Egypt. For example, there are temple ruins near the Great Pyramid. Numerous traces of sewing have been preserved on the stone floor there. At the beginning of the 20th century, German archaeologists even deliberately put blocks with cell marks on public display during the restoration of the temple. Historians suggest that in ancient times, the Egyptians used copper saws. And since copper is softer than granite and basalt, it is assumed that the Egyptians used quartz sand as an abrasive. Voids Scientists want to make an ultrasound of a huge pyramid 140 meters high. They plan to use a large telescope to search for particles that will help us see what is hidden inside. The most interesting thing is that cosmic rays are used for this. It is they who can reveal the secret of two mysterious voids inside the pyramid. One of them is located directly above the large passage leading to the king's chamber. Its dimensions are amazing, 30 meters in length and 6 in height. Scientists are not sure what awaits us inside, one large space or a series of small rooms. This may be the hidden burial chamber of Cheops, or this place played an important role during the construction of the pyramid. To solve this riddle, muons are used. Elementary particles that are formed when cosmic rays collide with atoms in the Earth's atmosphere. With their help, we could build a map of voids inside the pyramid. Muons behave differently when interacting with different materials, such as rock or air. Thus, scientists can use muons to see what is not available to ordinary vision. Secret Rooms So what could be hiding inside the pyramids? There are many theories here, from religious objects and treasures to ancient scrolls full of knowledge. And some are even sure that artifacts of space gods can be hidden in the recesses of the Egyptian pyramids. Remember the story of the 90s when a robot descending into one of the shafts came across mysterious doors? The great scientists of antiquity, the Greeks and Romans, were delighted with the skill of the builders of the pyramids. And medieval Arabic chroniclers such as al-Masudi and al-Idrisi wrote about miracles, gold and mummies that might have been found inside. But not all scientists agree that pyramids served only as tombs. Supporters of alternative history argue that the Great Pyramid could be a time capsule, a repository of knowledge of an ancient civilization that, that became the basis of ancient Egypt. And there is an even more exotic theory from Christopher Dunn, who suggested that the Great Pyramid could be nothing more than a power station. And don't forget about the Chamber of Records, the legendary ancient library where, according to some researchers, all the knowledge of the ancients is stored capable of shaking the foundations of our understanding of the world. The Secret of Orion 
Have you ever wondered why many ancient monuments look towards the constellation Orion? Did the gods really come to our land from there from a distant space? Incredible but true, our ancestors left us a whole system of signs pointing to Orion. They created architectural masterpieces, elaborate calendars and observation posts that allowed them to track the position of the stars in the sky. Orion was one of the most popular constellations among the ancients. Its image was even found on a mammoth task dated 32,500 BC. Studying the ancient sanctuaries on the Kola Peninsula, scientists noticed an interesting detail. If you connect the finds with conditional lines on the map, you get the constellation of Orion. And this can no longer be a coincidence. Orion seems to be everywhere. There is no such place on Earth where it would not be met. Egypt, Mexico, ancient Babylon, ancient Rus, everywhere it played an important role, becoming the center of heavenly space. Probably the matter is in the principle as above, so below. The ancient Egyptians built their pyramids focusing on Orion as if creating an earthly map of this constellation. And even three large volcanoes on Mars together formed the belt of Orion. Just a coincidence or a trace of cosmic connection? And also, representatives of the ancient Egyptian civilization believed that their gods descended from Orion and Sirius. Pyramids when they were built the pyramids we see today are far from what they looked like when they were created. You don't believe it? Let's dive into history. Ancient engineers used an astonishing 6.1 million tons of limestone to erect the Great Pyramid of Giza. The largest and oldest of all, it was created by order of Pharaoh Khufu. But what do you think it looked like before? No, not sandy brown. It was covered with a shiny layer of limestone. But alas, over time, many facing stones were reused. This probably began already during the reign of Tutankhamun and continued for many centuries centuries. Add to this earthquake of 1303 AD which jolted them a little. Today the pyramids still amaze us with their durability. For example, the Pyramid of Khafre, which even retained some of its original face and stones. It looks like one peak is wedged into another. It's amazing! On top of the pyramids were the so-called Pyramidians, covered with electrum, a shiny mixture of gold and silver. Alas, most of them have been lost over time, but some examples can still be seen in museums. Banban Stone This amazing artifact inspired the Egyptians to create two of the greatest achievements of their architecture, the pyramids and obelisks. Imagine a pyramid-shaped sacred stone called a banban or a pyramidian. Every day, the first rays of the rising sun fell on it, endowing everyone around with strength and enlightenment. This stone was kept in the religious center of Egypt, Heliopolis, where, according to the ancients, the creation of the world began. However, at one unknown point in history, the original Banban stone disappeared. This stone was associated not only with the gods Adam and Ra, it was also associated with the banner bird, which, according to myth, screamed on the Banban stone announcing the beginning of the creation of the world. Through these connections, the Banban stone became an integral part of the solar temples of ancient Egypt. The Egyptians covered it with gold and the stone reflected the sun rays, filling the temples with light. This stone became the prototype of the tops of obelisks and pyramids, which we can still observe while walking through the museums of the world. Why is it forbidden to climb the pyramid? The top stone of the pyramid is a kind of cherry on top the final touch in its construction. Given the harmony and beauty of the pyramid, it is unlikely that its builders would have left it unfinished. There is a theory that the top stone was made of gold and was removed from the top sometime in the distant past. But it's hard to believe given the height of the building, more than 140 meters. Spanish explorer Miguel Perez Sanchez suggests that a huge spherical stone symbolizing the Eye of Horus was placed on top of the pyramid. It could serve as a tribute to Sirius, the brightest star in the sky and its size and shape were designed with mathematics, geometry, and astronomy in mind. There is one interesting story associated with the top of the pyramid and Sir Siemens. Some time ago, the British inventor Sir Siemens was at the top of the pyramid and as he was about to celebrate his achievement with a glass of wine, one he suddenly encountered a surprise. He got electrocuted. The Arab guides, seeing how Siemens was electrocuted, got scared and tried to catch him, but Siemens, putting a bottle at them, hit them with a powerful electric current. Since then, it has been forbidden to climb to the top of the pyramid. Sarcophagi 
archaeologists have discovered unique tombs and funerary masks that are as much as four and a half thousand years old. And they were found next to the pyramids of Giza, in the heart of the ancient necropolis. Several tombs from the era of the Old Kingdom were found there, the oldest of which dates back to the 25th century BC. Ancient inscriptions and decorations have been preserved in it. In one of the tombs was Pehuang, a senior court judge and priest of the goddess Maat. He directed the rituals of purification in the pyramidal temples of the kings Khafre, Usarkov, and Nisuere. The second inhabitant of the tomb is his relative Nui, a nobleman with five court titles and a priest in the temple of Khafre. The excavation began in August 2018, and in order to reach these tombs, they had to move about 450 cubic meters of sand. Some tombs were plundered in antiquity but were reused for burials in the 7th 6th centuries BC. Thanks to this, amazing works of art, magnificent clay and wooden funeral masks were found among the late wooden sarcophagi. And all this was found near the cemetery of the pyramid builders. This proves that the pyramids were built not by slaves, but by ordinary people who were buried next to their kings. Signs of Extraterrestrial Visitors now we come to one of the most controversial pyramid theories. It is believed that aliens helped build the pyramids. In the 60s and 70s of the last century, this assumption became popular thanks to the book by Erik van Daniken, Cheers of the Gods. He said that extraterrestrial beings came to Earth a long time ago and helped build the majestic pyramids. Why do we think so? First, the builders of the pyramids cut and set stone blocks with extraordinary precision. Some believe that such work would not have been possible without the futuristic technology that aliens could provide. Secondly, the pyramids seem to be placed according to special astronomical schemes. For example, the sides of the Great Pyramid of Khufu align perfectly with the cardinal points of the compass. Some even suggest that this was done on purpose to serve as a beacon for incoming alien spacecraft. However, many scientists want to see evidence. They claim that there is no evidence of the arrival of aliens on Earth, and everything in the pyramids can be explained by Earth's technology. The ancient Egyptians used giant ramps to carry stone blocks to the top of the pyramid. It may sound primitive, but the effectiveness of this method is undeniable. At the moment, there is no evidence confirming the coming of aliens, and although the pyramids remain one of the most amazing and wonders of the world, most likely they were created exclusively by earthly hands and minds. Perhaps someday all the artifacts will form a new picture of the past and there will no longer be unexplored secrets in history. But then, would it be that interesting to study it? Like this video and subscribe to the channel. Watch also this video about the secrets of the Egyptian civilization. See you on Kurtop.